Hello everyone. This is part two in a series of short videos that I've made to introduce you to Excel. So in the first video, we just oriented ourselves to the program so that we would have some idea of what the spreadsheet environment will look like. So what I want to do now is I want to construct a data table. So if you're a student in my class, you have a handout um, that describes this, but if you don't, you can just follow along. Um, so I did in the last video start to enter my title. Um, I'm going to continue to construct the table that I have here. So um, I have a solution volume. I'm typing in cell A3. So again, notice when I type, um, what I type appears up here in the formula bar. Um, I'm just going to uh, click on the uh, right arrow to enter that. Um, and then, um, oh, actually, I need to change this. So if you, if you make a mistake, you can actually go back to the cell or you can go up to the formula bar. I meant to write units there and I forgot to do that. Um, so I have solution volume in milliliters. Um, and then I want to type 5.00, but when I do that, just a 5 comes up. Um, so I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. And also notice that my, uh, my my label is getting cut off, and I can show you how to fix that too. So now I want to construct my um, columns. So I'm going to, to type protein mass. Now I want to type micrograms, but I'll just do milligrams for now, and I'll show you in a minute how to get micrograms. The next column is uh, protein concentration. And I want this to be micrograms per milliliter of water. So I'm going to have to edit that as well. Um, that's in cell B5. Um, and next is percent transmittance at 280 nanometers. And um, finally, I want to type Absorbance, I'll just abbreviate that as A at 280 nanometers. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to populate this table with um, my numbers. So on the protein mass, I'm going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for the percent transmittance, I've measured 99.5. 65.0, 40.1, and 24.9, and 16.2. Okay, so I've entered my data here. So um, now this spreadsheet does not look very nice, so I'm going to have to fix it. But what I want to do now is I want to make sure I save my work. So um, I'm going to go to File and Save As, and um, I just have a, a, a file that have Excel tutorial. Um, so I worked on an earlier version of this earlier, so I'm actually going to replace this. But if you're saving this for the first time, I'm going to say yes because I want to replace it. But if you're saving this for the first time, you'll give it a name and you'll save it. So you always want to uh, save your work um, often so that you don't lose your work. Okay, so let's format this spreadsheet so that it looks a little nicer. So one of the things we should do is we should make the columns wider so that we can see our text. And one, there are several ways to do this. One way is to just mouse up here to where it says A, and uh, um, I can make my column a little wider right here. The other thing you can do is you can um, select the whole column and go where it says Format and Auto Fit Column Width. Um, and I can do that several columns at a time. I can do, for example, C and D and do format auto fit column width. And then Excel will decide how wide the column needs to be um, in order for you to, um, to read your text. Um, let's see, there are a couple of things, other things I want to do. I think I want my title to be bold and maybe a little bigger so I can click the B for bold. This big A says increases the font size so I can make it a little bigger. Um, say I want this to be bold. Um, I want to draw some borders that'll make it easier for me to see. So here's my solution volume. If I go up here to the borders, um, I'm going to say all borders. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to select my whole table and I'm going to put borders around everything. 
Let's see, what else do I want to do? I think I want to take my table headings and I want to make them bold. And the other thing I want to do is I want to center them. So if I go over here um, and click on this icon, that will center my, um, my labels. Actually, I think I want to center all my data too. So let me uh, uh, select this whole thing and hit center. Okay, so it's looking a little better, but remember I told you that the protein mass wasn't milligrams, it was micrograms. So I'm going to have to fix that. So if I go up to the formula bar, I can um, select just the M, and I want that to be a symbol font. That will get me the Greek letter mu, which is for the abbreviation for micrograms. And there are a couple ways you can do this. One is you can just scroll down to all the available fonts and choose symbol, or Remember, the protein concentration was micrograms per uh, milliliter. I can just, if I know the name of my font, I can just type a uh, symbol, and then symbol just comes right up. Um, all right, so the other thing I need to do is the water needs to be H2O. It need, that 2 needs to be subscripted. So again, I can go up to my formula bar, highlight the 2, click on the arrow in the font group, and then click on subscript and then hit OK and that will give me my um, my uh, my subscript. Finally, um, I told you that I had tried to type 5.00 but um, Excel won't do that for me unless I tell it how many decimals. So I'm going to mouse over here where it says increase decimal, click twice and that will give me 5.00. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to select this entire um, a column and increase decimal. Um, over here I told you I tried to type 65.0 and again I couldn't do it. So I'm going to select this entire column and increase decimal. That increases a little bit more than I want so I'm going to go to decrease decimal. So now I've formatted everything to the um, correct number of significant, significant figures. Um, so I know how to set up the spreadsheet so the columns are wide enough that I can read them. I can enter data. Um, I can make my spreadsheet look prettier by adding some borders, and I can set my significant figures properly. So the next thing we want to do in part three of this series is we want to do some calculations. So in part three, I will show you how to do that. So, um, so I'll see you in part three.